Hello, I am the Zapperman, and this is my review for the 2020 Grudge film, which is probably the 27th Grudge movie made. I don't know. I don't care. All I know is I watched the 2004 version, and I didn't really care for it. I thought it was quite boring. The jump scares were predictable, and everything just felt very bland. My goodness, was this movie so boring. I... I think I gnawed off a couple of times. I've heard someone snore a couple of seats above me. If you don't know, watch the 2004. You know what? I I can't believe I'm actually saying that. 2004 version with Sherry Michelle Geller was bland acting. If you thought acting was bland, there's some bland acting in this film as well. And the scenes some don't even make sense. Like, it shows part of a scene and it ends... And you don't see anything until the rest of the scene, until the very end of the movie. Like, what was the point of that? In fact, you can do away with the whole first hour of this movie. Just do not watch the first hour of the movie. Watch the last 30 minutes, and then you've got yourself a movie. But what's the point of that? What's the point of going to a movie just to watch the last 30 to 40 minutes of it, and that's it? That just makes no sense. And that's basically what you can do, and you've got the whole film. But even with the last 30 or 40 minutes, everything, it's just so, oh, so bland. It had jump scares, I heard. Some people actually screamed a couple of times. I think they just scream at every jump thing. You, you could see them coming so far. It plays the usual tropes. The music starts rising up or it dies off. Everything becomes so deadly quiet, and you don't hear a bloody thing. I mean, it's the same predictable thing. You, it's, it's ridiculous. I don't even know what the point of this curse is. I mean, it's based on the movie called Juan, and it's a rage that follows anyone. And basically, you can follow you wherever you go around the globe. So, the rage doesn't settle in the house like it did for the past, I don't know, 20 films. And the rage was always within the house, within the person that died, very violent and so forth. I guess now you could just pass the curse on to whoever and you'll always be haunted for the rest of your life. And it feels like it haunts, it teases you, it kills you, it doesn't want to kill you, it just plays around, it just goes from one scene, turns very dark. And then it jumps at you. See, that's what it does. It gets, it, it does that. And I'm just like, why? Why? What was the point? And you get... So tired of it, so yeah, don't watch it. It's boring, it's bland, it's dumb, it's stupid, it's it's awful. It's awful. If you want to know why it's rated R, here it is, but you know what? Why are you watching this movie, even though I just recommended not to watch this film? But if you are like that kind of person, fine, go ahead, watch the stupid film. If you watch this film, just let you know, there are basically no rules it follows. It follows no guidelines, it follows nothing. I think it was trying to play as a mystery. I believe it was trying to be a horror, and they just didn't know what direction to take, so it took all of those elements and combined together. They didn't know how to properly put it out, and you just got yourself a very dull, bland movie. This movie will put you to sleep. It will, if you want to go to sleep, if you had a long day, and you can't sleep at home, and you feel like sleeping at a theater, and if your theater has nice, comfortable, reclining seats, there you go. You may wake up every once in a while when someone screams, which is like very rare and seldom. But if you want to do that, go ahead. Even the end credits, when it shows the very end of the film, it was boring. You're like, everyone sat there. I sat there just like, you know what? The heck of it. I've already sat through this entire movie, so might as well see what happens with this scene. Nothing. Nothing. It settled on a simple house scene for what five minutes nothing happened this is the dapper man and that's my review and you know what take it for what you want but it's boring cheers